Welcome back to Griffin Indiana 22 on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 28 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're into August. It's just gone 6.30 in the morning. I've got one thing of peppers. I've got some start of some eggs. I've got a little bit of milk. We've got some sheep's cheese and a little bit more honey up at Hilltop Farm. But as we moved into August, I've, I'm really, really puzzled. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm very puzzled. I thought I'd make a note. The things I've, I've got that I said the prices were low and I was waiting for the prices to come back up. I thought I'd make a note of which ones I can sell and when. So my methane and my acetic acid, when I went on and showed the, to show the price fluctuations, both of those were showing that the prices would come right back up again in August. So I wrote those down. My wood pellets, September, they start to rise through to January when it's one of the higher, more higher prices. And the peppers, again, September through to February, the prices rise up. So I thought, all right, brilliant. We'll get into August. I'll sell all the methane I've got, sell all the acetic gas I've got. Great. So what I did was I bought down a load more silage, put silage into my acetic acid production, which is through here. Get that chugging away. We'll get some more going. We can make a bit of money on that. My hops are going as, all, as they have been the whole time. I put some more water in there, but a little bit more solid fertilizer just to keep that chugging away. Um, brilliant. So we clicked over into August, and I thought, right, Let's go and check the prices. They should have all come soaring back up again. And, well, this has happened. And I don't understand. Because I made a note of it all. I, I checked everything to make sure it was okay. If we go up to our acetic acid and then go to show price fluctuations. Now, that's now saying it doesn't go up until September. No, I, I double checked it. It definitely said August. Now it's saying September. And the same thing with my methane. Oh, where's my methane price? That's up here somewhere, isn't it? Um, that's done the same thing. It said August, now it's saying September. I'm baffled. But anyway, doesn't matter. So, that being said, my field, I was going to plant canola in. I've got weeds. I've got weeds in my own field. So we're going to go up and get rid of the weeds. But we've also got two harvest contracts. And this time I haven't made a mistake. So we're going to use our own harvester. We're going to take out smaller header now there are some available uh, if we go to where are we used vehicle there's that teraflex there 28 foot so that's an 8.5 we're currently on a what we're on a six or something just not for 24 grand and i thought you know what i might do that you know it will certainly speed up my harvesting now it doesn't give you down the bottom there a horsepower requirement for the header Should I do it? Swap it out for a larger header? I just, I'm not sure whether my harvester will have the horsepower to run it. That's the only downside. It's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? Oh, no, hang on. That's that's one of the tall height control for headers ones. They're fine. And that might have been upgraded. Oh, I'm trying to keep track of everything. I'm just thinking, because normally if you hire a worker at any point, they don't like to do the turns when you've got the tall height control for headers. It will do the harvesting way quicker, obviously, but I mean, a lot of times I do it manually anyway. But if I do want to leave it, I've got to keep going back and checking it. 
Oh, I don't know what to do on that one, you know. It's a brilliant price. Or do I buy it and keep the other one as well? Oh, man. Um, I'm going to do it. Let's buy, should we just buy it? <laughs> Again, what's the worst that can happen? So I'm going to take this down to field three. Going to get a worker going. And then we're going to go up. We're going to do weeding on our field. I won't be selling anything, as I thought I was going to. thought we'd make a big chunk of money today, but that's not going to be the case. Uh, so, yeah, we'll bounce to August. And then September the price will come up. But we'll, we'll have some more harvesting contracts coming up through August. Now, this is what I was saying way back when. Just wondering whether or not I can get the new header onto this. Uh, it'll overhang a little bit. The, oh, actually, I don't know if it'll work, will it? That header doesn't look like it's on there properly now. It's fallen off. Um, I'll grab the new header. Let's give it a try. What I might do is drive cross country, then we haven't got to put it on the header trailer. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I've done it again. I've lost my own thread. Is it about prices? No. Oh, oh yeah, what was I was going to say, um, when I set this on three day months, when it's all started off and I had all these suggestions, people saying how I should do my let's play this time round. Um, and with all the hard mode and all that kind of stuff. And people had said, and this is where I also find out whether I've got enough horsepower to run it. I should have. It's not that much bigger, but it's big enough. And and people said, you know, the thing is, you can just skip ahead. If you've got, you know, I, I to absolutely I can skip ahead. I totally agree I can skip ahead. But now I've got animals and I've got other things that are being produced. Skipping ahead isn't just as simple as just go into my, my sleep trigger and skipping through the through the entire day to 8 o'clock the following morning because there's stuff I need to monitor as I'm going through the day and make sure everything's being fed, make sure everything's got what it needs to and often I have to replenish things actually I'm done, I'm going to be able to get through there we'll get to the side there let's give it a go so yeah, it's not as straightforward and I think the more animals you get, the harder that is as well to just skip through skirt down the side of there, nope, because that means going over there, crop, oh, okay, bear with me, I'm going to get this onto a header trader, we'll get it over there, or I'll, I'll just, I'll work out a way of getting there. I mean, we got down here, but we were, we were hugging the crop, I mean, absolutely hugging it, so this is what I'll do, I'll do a, a, a route round, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea, uh, should start, do that, Back to that, do that. I have unfolded it. What about? Okay. Looks like we have got the horsepower. Well, this is going to fill up really quickly, and it's quite a big field. So what I want to do to test the theory, and I can set the, uh, the speed, but obviously with the tool height control for headers mod, I've got the cheaper header and I can go much faster, which I know it's not realistic. Had the header been a normal one for the same price, I would have got that. But I'm more curious to see whether or not I can hire a worker with it, that's the thing. And I think even if I set the cruise control, when you hire a worker, that, that kind of negates that anyway. I think so. It's a weird one anyway. We'll get this done. I've got, yes, I've got a contract on here, and I've got a contract on field three, which is much smaller. And I've, I've um, just accepted contract on both of those rather than borrow equipment. Now we're still in the window for planting canola in our field, but like I said, I did need to get up there. And now, hmm, just thinking of something else actually. Right, so if I hire a worker now, off it goes. Now, yeah, if you don't, if that's going to annoy you, then look away. I totally understand that. I'm just curious to see 
whether it will turn around at the end because I know initially it didn't but that's the thing with a lot of a lot of mods that are out they get updates and there's so many mods so many updates I can't always keep track of them but I don't know if this is one of the ones that did get changed or didn't in all honesty though yeah, if I hired a worker and it was doing this I know people are going to be furious, they're going to be angry at the moment, I, I totally understand that, but like I say, it was, it's a wider header, it was cheaper, I could sell the other one. This is going to Mount Vernon I think as well, so this is going to be another one of those ones where, right, you overshot, will it turn around and keep going? So maybe it has been adjusted since last I used it. Am I thinking of on FS19? Maybe it hasn't been an issue on FS22. I don't think I've used these headers on FS22. FS19, it just never used to want to turn around. Seems to do all right there. I think two full passes of this field and that, that's going to be full. Blessing and a curse, isn't it? You can go much faster but you'll have to spend more, more time here with it, although I suppose you'll get the fields done quicker, I suppose. So next test then is... Ah, uh, no. Oh, it's not my field, is it? It's a contract. So, <gasps> no, I've got crop destruction on, but it's not my field. It's a contract field. If I knock down the cruise control... and put down six, and then hire a worker again, I think it will just ignore it, won't it? Oh, no! So okay, so I could do that if I wanted to. So for for you know to keep it real, to keep it realistic, I've now got a wider header. I would I was just convinced if I set the cruise control and then hired a worker, it would ignore the cruise control. Apparently not. So I've got a wider header, cheaper, and I, I can keep it more realistic with my harvesting. And I do also know now that it will turn around at the ends, so I can still leave the worker going. Well, that's good to know. I didn't mind. Again, I, I must just be thinking of it, the FS19 version, I suppose. So I need to leave this then. Go and get the lorry. That will carry on chugging. I mean, I could knock the speed up to maybe 8 or something if I wanted to, you know. I, Yeah. But. At least that way. I feel happier about it. And I think other pe people will feel happier about it as well. Nice. Go and get the lorry and then we'll whiz up and I need to get weeding done. Uh, I don't think I've got rock collection here because I didn't plough. Probably could have done. All I did was, after the harvest on there, I got the swath off it, I got my oats off of it, and then I mulched it. I don't think I did anything else with my own field, did I? Oh, lime. That's what I was going to do. When we get to the store, I'm going to buy some lime. Now, this was also came with... You know when I bought the rocks, the uh, road salt, and... What did I buy? To go into my production shed... There were the bags that came with that production. It will show me them when I look on them. And I'm sure they've got 8,000 litre bags of lime for about, I want to say 1,200. I think that's about what they're charging. Because I need to lime that field as well. So I need to, I mean, that's going to be prep work um, on mine. So what we'll do is. Big bags. Let's go to the end. What's it called? Oh, the multi-crop greenhouse pack. Multi-crop green... There you go, lime. 1,200 for 8,000 litres. So, how much lime am I going to need for that field, do we reckon? Two? I'll start off with two. You know what? 24,000 litres... Uh, yeah, let's do that. That'll fill up my my equipment. I'm going to get up there and weed first. If I get the lorry down, right, okay, a few jobs to do. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to get the lorry down there. We'll get the first unload done. And then I will grab the weeder. We'll go up and do the weeding. Then I'll empty, if I've got fertiliser in the fertiliser spreader, which I think I have in the braid owl, I'll empty that out. We'll put lime into that. We'll get up and do the liming. Yeah, cool. Where did I leave the lorry? Right through here. Lots to do, and then we'll get canola in the ground. Oh, hang on. 
No, was that? Oh, it was because that was the one thing I could do with that, wasn't it? I can't remember. I can't remember. I've got so much more today. Thank you for everyone who has commented and commented on the last episode and been messaging. And Honestly, I can't thank you enough. It's so kind, some of the things that people have been saying and, and, and telling me about their experiences and things that have happened to them and offering advice and honestly it's amazing thank you and like i said in the last episode i meant that at the end i know people don't always wait until i finish my end bit of the spiel thanks for listening um it was that kind of i just wanted to talk i think i just wanted to talk out loud and i always feel like i'm i know it's not a conversation but it feels like it is it's, it's that weird thing it's i've always kind of felt that when i do my videos um I'm talking to a person, to people, rather than just talking into a mic. You know, I've always had that kind of feeling. So I yeah, really do appreciate that. Uh, and we're not done yet. We got most of it done. Saturday, Sunday, we got most of it done. Um, and then today, Mrs. Silly P is up there because there's a company coming in and they're going to be clearing everything else. So all the, the furniture, like I said, the stuff's going to charity shops and there's a lot of ele electronic stuff. There's TVs and some bits and bobs that we've just got no space for. We can't do anything with them. Um, so she's up there while they're clearing the house. And then once they're done and I go to pick her up later on, that'll be it. That'll be the last time we'll go to the house. Then it's exchanging contracts and all that kind of thing. It's going to be very weird today. So, again, our, our mods, I don't know about mods later. It's, it will depend when she messages me, when she wants picking up. Um, and also, I've, I've wanted to, of course I've wanted to, she's my wife, you know. I've wanted to make sure I'm here for her kind of emotion. I can't just say, look, you know, yeah, I'll come and pick you up, then I need to go back and make a video straight away. If she's upset, she's going to be upset. It's a big thing, you know. Of course she is and I'm not going to bring her back so you go and sob upstairs I know you're upset about you know leaving your family home for the last time but I've got videos to make kind of thing you know what I mean it, it just wouldn't sit right with me <laughs> so I don't know we'll see how we get on later on we might get some more stuff done is that going to work camera man. Make sure you don't trip over and fall into that. Cool, right. We're in the smaller Massey. I'm still puzzled by that whole thing with the prices. I'm, I'm, I don't get it. And the thing is, you know, I'm now second guessing myself. I'm thinking, did I write them down wrong? But I made absolutely certain that I'd written down the right thing for both of them, for the methane and the acetic acid. I don't get it. Hmm. Puzzlement. I'm literally scratching my head. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so weeder on the back. Oh, I'm just thinking now as well. Like I said, I don't do weeds very often. Because I mulch, I haven't cultivated that field yet. I don't own a cult... Oh, hang on, we do own a cultivator, don't we? Or did I sell it? The smaller trailer over at Hilltop Farm I sold because I wasn't going to use it and then about I think two days later I thought oh, I could really do with the small trailer again <laughs> genius and then uh, yeah, I think we've got the cultivator there but it's not very really big I wonder if I could sell that and buy something else because I think there's a few other options I think there's a Russell Mash one there's a few different ones but yeah yuck weeds Ugh. we've got weeds in our own fields now I've been going on and on about oh we've had no weeding we've had the odd little one here and there now I've got weeding I'm like mm, weeding but it's not everywhere which is kind of cool and kind of weird. Should but should be small weeds, so we should be okay. Let's drop this down. And for one of the first times, I've actually. Um, what? These aren't big weeds, these should be removed with the mechanical weeder, should they not? This is my field. The tractor is destroying them, not the weeder. I don't turn the weeder on, do I? 
Why is that? I'm sure everyone, everyone in the comments will know why. This is why I don't like doing weeds. Don't make me. Right, they're early stage weeds. They're not fully mature weeds. They don't require herbicide. They're small weeds and it's patchy across the whole thing. I have a weeder. Look, it's a weeder. And it's not working. So, adding to my puzzlement, <laughs> I'm really puzzled. Yeah, the tractor is destroying them because they've got crop destruction on. So the tractor is getting rid of the weeds, but the weeder isn't. Hum ha hum ha. I think is what you would say. Hmm. So do I just cultivate it then? But if I cultivate it, I'm going to get weeds come back later on. Will it not let me do the weeding because it's just been mulched and it's not... The weeder will only work on loosened soil? Is that how it works? I don't... <laughs> weeds. <laughs> I'm going to leave the weeder up here. Well, let's go and let's buy ourselves a cultivator. I'm going to whiz across, see if we can cut our way through. Um, I don't think I sold the other cultivator. What we will do um, to kind of cover the cost is, we'll go to there, oh, that's where I was. We'll go out to cultivators. Again, people, I always get asked, why don't I use disc arrows? Why do I always go straight for cultivators, not disc arrows? Um, price being one of them, I found, mod-wise, there are far more cultivators available than there are disc arrows. And cheaper options. For example, the Harrow 5 there, 5 metres for 1,500. These ones here, that one there, is 8 metres wide. Requires 120 horsepower. Uh, then we move on to these ones, the Rossel Mash. That one there requires 300 horsepower. No, that one there requires 300 horsepower. We've got the bigger Massey. So we can go to 9.4 metres cultivating for 11 grand. I'm not sure what I'll get for the other cultivators, because the other one, I think, is much narrower. Um... Yeah, I mean, I could change the colour. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go for that. I'm hemorrhaging money again. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Uh, yeah. I'm going to get stones come up again, aren't I? Am I? Small stones. I can't. Uh, yeah, probably. Unless I just drive up and down the field with, with <laughs> crop destruction on and just get rid of all the weeds that way. It's very odd. I like doing puzzles, I don't like being puzzled. There's the difference. Uh, I've got to remember when I go through the woods this time and go left when I come out, not carry on through the woods because then I never ever find where I'm getting to. Let's go and grab another cultivator, we'll get it back, I'll sell that, we'll recover some of the money, we'll get up, we'll do the cultivating. Um, the last time I did this I was in the Jeep. Which made life a little bit easier. And there's the path. We need to go out here, don't we? I'm sure we do. There we go, there's the domes of the biogas are here. And we're gonna head over there. Right, I'm sure the cult base is in here. <laughs> this is where I find out um, I'm actually, that's it, I've lost it. I think there's so much swirling through my head at the moment with everything that's going on. I think, did I say it? I don't think I did. Um, we've got one pallet of sheep's cheese, I did mention that, didn't I? Uh, the second one won't be far behind it, I don't think. The gate shut. Yep. Get the gate opened. Need to keep an eye out for when the worker needs unloading again over the canola field. I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to hold back about 10%-ish of the, the crop when I send it off to Mount Vernon. I think it was Mount Vernon it was going to. Uh, where are we? Harvesting field three. It was field three and field 30 were the two. Um, that one doesn't pay very much, and that's it's a very small field. Bit of sorghum, we'll see how that works out. Oh, these have popped up. Uh, field 29, more canola. Accept contract, might as well. I can do it off camera, can't I? Um, right, so it was in here. Oh, 
and I didn't even look, did I? I said the two fields. Field three, Mount Vernon, Illinois. That one's going to Acme. That one's going to Acme. Cool. If you're not sure about where the Ac um, Acme is, there it is at the back. Uh, the Acme, I've just, I just renamed the cell point. I put in one of the um, cell points. Is it Schultz modding? Sell everything cell point. Then you can click on it and you can rename the cell point. I think you can do it with a lot of cell points. I mean, it's, it's older, but I'll take that down. We'll sell that. I think I've got my gates open this side. Oh, yeah, so I'll show the cheap cheese. I mean, so... are you excited? I'm going to show you the sheep cheese. I'm, I'm excited. I came, I came here and thought, oh, what? I don't understand. Here it is. It's worth a bit more. We'll wait until I've got a couple and then we'll get rid of those. Right. I'll be back up with our new cultivator. Uh, on the bigger Massey, of course, because I'm going to need that. And then I can always do, if I need to do weeding later on, I'm going to leave the weeder there. I can come up. I don't think I'm going to get other weeding, any other weeding contracts yet, but... Your guess is as good as mine at this point. While I'm down here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the uh, the header, the other header, because I know that one works now. I know I can set the, the speed if I'm hiring a worker as well. So you know what makes sense. I'll probably do that. Let's drop that off. That will pay a little bit towards the new one. If it's only a couple of grand, it might even, not even be that. I don't know how much it's going to be worth, but. What was the other one? 11, wasn't it? It was £11,000. Dollars. What's it worth? 4113 It's a bit towards it. So, you know what? Let's do it. And then the other header. I bought that. Did I buy that full price? I did know. That wasn't a second-hand header, this one. I'm sure that trailer very in a very weird way. I may need to get a new trailer now, thinking about it. So I think it, the other one might be too long for this header trailer. I'll give it a go. If, it's, if it is, then I'll we'll think about getting a new header trailer. We're going to need a new header trailer for getting around. But I do like this one, the tilt and rotate and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can just click on that, go to that. Uh, sell for oh yeah value twenty two thousand three hundred twenty two that's almost the price of the other one <laughs> so we shouldn't be too much out of pocket okay let's sell that and like I say if we need to get rid of the head of trailer we will okay are well, we done all right out of that actually quite pleased fraction down let's put that there let's grab. Oh, actually, no, I need to go and get the other tractor, don't I? Because I need 300 horsepower for that. All right, well, at least I've shown you that bit. We'll grab that, get the cultivator up there, and we'll get the cultivating done. Uh, what I need to do, actually, while I'm over here, we'll get the... Actually, because the big the big masses on that tr the fertiliser spread it anyway. So what I'll do... I'm just dumping tractors all over the place now, aren't I? Let's pop that there. I'll tidy up later, I promise. I'm in a hurry, you watch this. It's absolutely full, isn't it? Full to the gunnels. The gun whales, you know it is, isn't it? Yeah. We need to find a space I can unload of that, and then we can put the lime into it. Monster mass. Okay, I'll come back for that later. <laughs> I'm probably going to use all the, that line. I'll have to get a little bit more, but it's not a bad price. I was I was looking at different options and factories and bits and bobs and I thought I could, you know, I've done a couple of quarries, did one on Calms and I did the kind of kind of quarry I guess it was on Western Wilds and I thought, no, you know what, I've done that, I'll just buy the lime. There's a few different options out there I could have done. So what we'll do, I'll swap over, I'll grab the cultivator now, I'll come back, or I might grab the John Deere actually, the John Deere can do the, the liming. Uh, I'll grab the John Deere in a bit. 
Now, this is the other thing. I'm back to that situation again. Will this go under that bridge? I don't know. If not, I'll have to go to the next bridge over to the left and then come across the top of the field next to it. It, sh it should do. I know I do it every single time. I look and think, oh, I don't know. It's, it's, you get there and think, actually, there's more space than I thought. Although this might be a bit of an issue. I did not scratch the side of that car with one of the coulters, I promise. <laughs> Duck feet. Goose feet. Don't know what I was so worried about. We're all good. Righto, 9.4 meters of cultivating goodness. stones again. They're quite big as well, aren't they? Was not expecting that. I suppose that's going to be something. I've only got one field at the moment. I don't know actually whether or not to roll those back in again, you know? I don't know. Can you do it? Oh, no. I don't know. Such a dilemma. Do I roll them back in, or do I get? I'm going, at some point, I'm going to have to get myself a, a stone, a rock picker. I could get myself one of the basket ones that goes on the front of a wheel loader or something like that, rather than getting and just go around on the clumps where they ha where there are stones. Maybe. I just think it's excessive for me to buy a rock picker when I've only got one field of my own at the moment, and I've had no rock picking contracts come up, no stone collecting contracts, so. It seems like, yeah, probably not the best idea at the moment. Weeds are going though. Yeah, so I'm just wondering, like I said, I haven't really done it this way around before, that whether you have to, you know, it's more likely that when you've, I know if you plough you don't get weeds done. Then you've got shallow cultivating and then you regular cultivating. That once cultivated, if the weeds come through, then you can get rid of the weeds. Or can you only get rid of weeds once you've got crop in the ground? No, that can't be right. Surely not. I'm just assuming because it's just been mulched. Is that simulating the fact that the ground's too compacted? It hasn't been loosened up enough to... Maybe. I must remember this time when I plant my canola not to drive over the crop. Like until last time. As you can see those lovely tire marks. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. We all make mistakes. Some people hide them. I don't. I would say honesty is the best policy. It's a policy, let's just say that. It is a policy. Not always the best, but it is a policy. I don't know if we've got any um, rock buckets installed. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to check, wasn't it? The CSZ pack. I, didn't, I don't think I've got that installed. I've said in the last episode, didn't I? I'll have to have double check that and see if I can get that installed, because I'm sure that had some rock buckets, didn't it? Let's have a double check on that as well. Let's go to there. We want tools and... I want to say, would it be under front loader? Just thinking of rock collecting gubbins. They've got a stone fork there, haven't we? What's the capacity on that? 1,100 litres. We probably won't get a lot, will we? That's under front loader tools. Um, I don't know if we've got one under... What's ours? 
So it's under skid steer loaders or wheel loaders? It's a wheel loader, house, isn't it? Don't think we have. Uh, okay, I'll have to look at maybe if we can get an adapter or something like that. Well, at least what I can do, because we've got all of August to get our canola in the ground, what I'll do is I'll get out, we'll get the liming done, which was the other thing I want to get done. We'll get the liming done. And then I'll look at... Um, okay, it was already out. Yeah, then I'll look and see what options we've got for picking up the rocks. We didn't get many off this last time, did we, if I recall correctly? Oh, we've got a full grain tank over at field three. I'm doing proper farming though, look. Proper farming. It's not all pallets and, and factories. My one field gets to work over every now and again and I'm, I'm doing contract work and others. There's been, there's been cultivation and harvesting and things, you know. I do like this contract, it's rather cool. Okay. Well, that's said, The weeds come back. I do have my weeder. We'll try it again. I don't know if we're getting rid of them now. We'll negate them coming back again once the field's cultivated. All we can do is see. big chunk of field three is now complete my cultivating here is done i did go in i thought i'll, I'll have a look in at the rock pickers and if i have to lease one of the ones and this one was in it the stone fork 180 i want to say so i'll probably use that that's got 1400 litre capacity if i get more than that i'll just dump them by the side of the road and i'll come and collect them later on but i can get them off the field i think i'm probably going to lime first mm, yeah we'll lime first this holds 14,000 and I've got, what did I have, 24,000 litres because I bought three bags didn't I? So yeah, I've got another, another 10,000, yeah. So actually we might not use all of it. Let's turn that on. Now I didn't line this last time I did it. I just left it as it was. So I'm hoping by liming this time we'll improve the yield on it again. And what I'll probably do once this is done, now I've cultivated as well, I might be able to get on once I've done the rock picking and get another fertilised estate on here. I'm thinking my next let's play, well, I don't know, my next let's play, I might run precision farming as well. I want to give that a go again. Yeah, maybe. I suppose what I could do, I'm just wondering, let's turn it off for a second. Let's switch to the front. Let's turn that on. I think you have to turn it on, don't you? Do I need to tilt it? Maybe. And that's now, that's not picking them up. That's supposed to be picking them up, isn't it? There we go. I was just thinking while I was liming I could do it, but I suppose I can come back afterwards. But it is doing it, so... I don't know how much we'll get off of here, but I can just go around and... To my heart's content, just pick them all up. It doesn't have to be a rock picker. If you know, if you know, you've got a small field. Obviously, the much bigger fields. If you want to get it done a lot quicker, this is going to take a while. But if you've got a bit of time and you don't mind just whizzing around and any, you know, any of the piles that I miss, like the ones I said, I can come back to them later on. But I just had to remember. I'm sure when I did the mod review when these came out, that you had to turn it on for it to work. I kept driving forwards and backwards and forwards. And I'm thinking I don't get it. It should just pick them up, but it does need to be switched on for it to kind of work. Just turn that back a little bit, get it off the ground a bit. It's still going to work, isn't it? Anyway, so there. 
So what have we done? We've done some harvesting, we've done a bit of cultivating, we've done some rock picking, we're going to do some liming. All needs to be done. Actually, you know what? I might be better off doing the rock picking now, because once I've limed, it's really hard to see them. That probably makes more sense, you know. The bits I've just limed, I'm going to have to go over, because I can't see them. Yeah, that's going to be a better shout, isn't it? From this angle you can, depends on the light. But I'm just going to have to make sure I grab them all. More work to be done then. Actually, we might get more than 1,400 litres. I can't remember what we got off last time. It was only a couple of thousand litres, wasn't it, if I recall? Because we took it down to the debris crusher, didn't we? to get rid of it. it. Won't let me pick the stuff up just there though. Whoa, okay, that was daft. Let's fold that back up. Yep, I'm going to do the rocks first, and then I'll come back and we'll get the liming done. Like I said, I'm probably not going to get the seeding done in this episode. I want to get there, once that field three is done, I want to get that crop sent off to Mount Vernon and see what we've got left out of that. And that's probably why, where I'll end it. Yeah, into August 2 and 3, it will depend on harvest. I might do some of the harvesting off camera. We'll see what stuff, there we go. Got a full grain tank again. That's, that's actually yielding really well, that field three. <laughs> Mr. Oh, is that because I'm right by the edge? that going to do that that thing of you don't own this nick off oh no there you are all right We're here, we're in the train, field three is done, 120,000 litres. I could keep about 12,000, I think. I might go for maybe 10, just to be on the safe side. Our field, as you can see, is now done. Liming has been done, stones have been collected, weeds have been sorted. Um, I thought I'd fertilised it, but apparently not. I'm, no, I, I honestly thought I'd fertilised it and then mulched it, but maybe I didn't. So I need to go up, give that fertilising, um, and then we'll move forward in the next episode with sowing that. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to put canola. I think it's pretty much the only thing I can do at the moment, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, down we've got potatoes and sorghum. Oh, I might do sorghum, actually. We're into sorghum planting. No, we're not. We're into sorghum harvesting. 
No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I want the green. Yeah, canola, the same thing we can plant at the moment. We could do barley or wheat, do a winter crop, maybe. If we held off, but I think I'm probably going to put canola in it. Um, or maybe we could do canola oil. We could get one of those little oil plants, you know, the little oil sheds, and we could do some oil. I think I might already have some in storage anyway. Anyway, regardless of all that, uh, I need to start filling. So I need this to get up to 108. Come on, just over. That's about right, isn't it? I think so. So... Hmm. Right, the usual point. The tractor is down there. If you just about to see the back of them, probably can't actually. The uh, lime cart. I've got the little front fork, the stone fork we used uh, with the full load. I'm going to just dump that the debris crusher. Um, I think I did three, two full loads on that fork and then a partial. So this is where we're going to end the episode. We're going to get rid of this. Hopefully, we're going to sell this and this will be absolutely fine. Uh, hopefully, I've, I will have delivered enough we'll find out got two more fields to harvest i'll crack on with those that new header worked really well no problem at all um I've just gone lunchtime so yeah i think we'll probably get the other two harvested today maybe until august 2 we'll see how we go with that and like i say then tomorrow august 2 i'll probably get up and i'll get the canola in get the fertilizing done or i might do it later on i haven't really decided but hopefully this is enough to complete this contract contract on field three finished brilliant so we're left with about 10,000 litres i think it is in the silo which we'll grab out we'll put that with everything else we've got i haven't been selling any of the crops i, I still keep my eye out for various different production chains and things i could use them for and i'm thinking if we have got a bit of canola I'm, I'm sure i've got some from last season that's probably something i should check really um let's scroll way back up turn those off where are we canola yeah i've got 36,000 litres so we could do canola oil anyway couldn't we and sunflowers, we've got some sunflowers, so we can do sunflower oil. So I can get a couple of oils going. And there was those omatana, like the little, like I said, like um, like just little farm store oil factory. I don't need a big oil plant. And we could get a bit of oil going. I think that'll probably do that. We'll move on to oil. So we've got our sheep, we've got our chickens, hops, all the stuff. Yeah. As soon as I've got some crop now, we're going to add some more canola to that. We might as well get that going. As far as what's going to be next to harvest, uh, if we go to the fields and we go to growth. Uh, yeah, that's the weird thing. 29.30, I've got 25 hasn't popped up yet. Or 15, interestingly. Maybe that will come next. That's potatoes, isn't it? Wouldn't know to do some more of those. And then we've got some more rolling through. That we'll get to maybe that will pop up or is that the no that's not the small one. Oh, anyway, regardless there'll be some more harvesting to do possibly some potatoes and i can gather up some more crops uh this time round. and i will see you on the next one i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching